welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new, my name is Lisette and I post beauty videos, vlogs, and lifestyle videos. So a bunch of girly stuff basically. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look. So um, I know I'm looking very rough. I'm still in my pajama shirt and my hair is still not did, but it's okay because we're going to do it pretty soon. Um, also ignore everything in the back that you can see. Hey you guys, so I'm back. Um, some things came up yesterday, so I wasn't able to finish my video, but I'm back to finish where I left off. So, Euro just woke up, so I'm looking pretty crazy right now. Um, I'm still in my pajama. I'm just gonna throw in a little um, setting spray and then put on a little bit of a primer and then we're just gonna uh, start there. So first I'm gonna spritz my face. I'm gonna be using a little bit of my Morphe eyelid primer. Um, I'm not a huge fan of um, eyeshadow primers but um, since I have it, I've already opened it and I don't want it to, um, it's probably gonna expire soon and I still have like most of the tube left. So I think I'm just gonna use it. So I've been trying um, contouring before I put my foundation on. I've been doing a lot of different things lately, but um, mostly one thing that I've kept the same is that I have been cream contouring and contouring before I put foundation on. So. Um, what we're gonna be doing. This one's actually pretty good. This one is the Coverall True Blend. I think I showed you guys this in my, no, I did. Excuse me, I did show you guys this in my um, editorial makeup look. I used it like on my eyes, um, which I think would honestly just be so bomb if you wanted to do like model makeup or like just something very dewy and like um, natural. Um, if you wanted to use this, just um, almost like an eyeshadow. I feel like this looks really, really, um, nice, but I like how you don't have to actually apply oil or anything. You can pretty much just um, dip your brush into it. That's one thing I can appreciate about this one a lot is that you don't have to do anything extra. You just gotta dip in and just get to get to sculpting. So I I love that. Also, a little trick I learned recently when watching the um, seminar I was telling you guys about, I think in the first clip, is um, if you apply a little contour to the outer corner of your eye and go upwards almost into your hairline, that kind of gives you like a really lifted effect. I've been doing that every single day since I've been cream contouring and I feel like it's one of those things you think it doesn't do a whole lot, but uh, once you're done with everything, it really does make um, a difference. Alright, so I'm going to take this angle uh, blending contour brush. This is by Jane Yarido. Um I like it because it's kind of low-key dense. It's not hella dense, but um, it's good for blending out cream products. So I'm kind of bringing that in my hairline a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, um, at the end, I might have a little bit of product like noticeable product in my hair but we can always just rub that out in the end and then I know this brush is like pretty big for my nose but like I just be making it work anyways because I'm waiting. I try to bring that into um, the front half of my brows just so it looks like a little bit more like my actual face structure Whatever excess is on the brush, I'll kind of run it on the bottom of my lip and a little bit on the top. We're just going to go in with a really light amount of my Thank You Rose foundation. Anything, I'm going to go in with this kind of like stippling brush. Um, this is the Sigma F80 Air Flak Mookie. So I think this is going to be a good brush if we're going to want to thin out the Thank You Rose foundation. So I'm going to apply a little bit to the brush because I'm kind of getting... You know when you get to that point of your foundation where it just starts to like spit at you, like 
yeah, I'm not trying to ruin this white shirt. I just got this from Target. And it's just an oversized tee, but I like it, so I'm not trying to ruin it. So I'm just gonna apply a little everywhere. They're kind of lightly looking that out. And we're going right on top of the contour. Don't be scared to, you know, go over it. Point. See how it kind of peeks through and it just looks very like natural. I've been loving that that uh, look lately. I've kind of been into that like my skin better look. Also, I wanted to mention I'm lightly kind of tapping um, the foundation up by my eyes. I usually don't do that, but um, what I've been doing lately also is like applying a little bit of foundation so that way I can go in with less concealer so i just wanted to throw that out there but um but yeah so i feel like um, i for the longest have just done like a certain style of makeup and recently like my interest has been kind of like shifting towards more like model makeup i guess you could say um which comes with a bunch of different like tips and, or not a lot of different techniques to achieve that look um, which I've been just playing around with a lot and I feel like it's just so different for me personally I said I think it's just kind of like refreshing to me personally to like, you know, go from like doing something like very like um, religiously and then um, You know switching it up to like something hella different. It's not only like a challenge for yourself, but I feel like it just like I don't know it just like gives me life you know it's just like when you like try out a new palette that you've like had your eye on and it's not something that you would have like typically bought or something and then you know you start creating looks and it kind of just like kind of just motivates you to just like keep learning and keep like trying new things i'm just taking my beauty blender which it's dry don't be mad at me i'm just lazy sometimes um but i'm basically just gonna go over all of the foundation all over my face with this just to kind of smooth everything out so i'm gonna be going in with my concealer this is the frankie rose in um angelic a dot in here a little dot right here and then a little bit on my forehead it's actually kind of still a lot i think i could have worked with like even less um and then i'm just gonna i have like a bump right here on my nose and it's so hard for me to draw like a straight line um i think that's enough i think yeah i think that's cool and then i'll apply a little bit on the sides of my nose where i have like redness and then what I've been doing is applying just a little to like underneath my uh, cheekbone right where my contour starts just to kind of give me a little brightness under there so it almost kind of like gives me more of a lift um, I try to take it up a little bit into like where we almost put that contour um, see how it kind of just brightens up my eye and makes you look like you just got like hella sleep so that's another trick I learned recently is just to kind of take a concealer up a little bit and it really gives you like a really and like uh, an awake like effect. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Fenty Pro Filter powder. I'm kind of been mixing techniques here. So lately I've been doing kind of like the more like natural skin look, but then with a little bit of powder right here to kind of give me a little bit more of like a smooth effect. But this definitely does give you a pretty matte finish so that's why i try to i don't even like go in with like a sponge or like go in very heavy with it i pretty much just tap my brush in and then just lightly apply it just so it can kind of give me that uh, i'm taking it up here as well you guys um but yeah just to kind of give me like a very bright smooth corner right here also because that's where I kind of like tend to crease is like right here next to my eye, like my tear does. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going in too heavy with it. I still will like brush away whatever excess is there, but um, I'm not going in like hella heavy. I'm just putting a little bit right here just to kind of brighten that up. Just to kind of emphasize my cheekbones. See how just... Okay, I'm actually gonna take this. This is, um, this, I guess I use more of like a contour powder um, to give me like a little bit more um, depth, but um, I'm actually gonna go in with this Jane Iridol um, 
This is technically an all over face like um, foundation, but I like to use this as a bronzer. I think they're like $30, um, but they're so nice. This is like the best powder I've ever used. It works with like almost all concealers, all foundations. Um, it gives you just enough coverage. Um, it's gonna be, if you want to use it as an actual foundation with like no, like nothing underneath, um, it's definitely going to be a little bit more, um, I guess like sheer. It's going to have your skin peeking out a little bit, but if you use it on top of, um, foundation just to set, um, or like I said, like, you know, how I'm using it here, um, once you set it with, like, some spray, it just looks so skin-like. This is just to kind of, like, set everything. Um, obviously, it was, like, you know, wet when we started. Um, this is just so that way, you know, it kind of stays there and you don't feel so, like, moist. I'm taking my Jane Airedale blush. This is in Whisper. Um, has a little bit of shine, but it's nice for like every day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this on my cheekbones just to kind of sculpt them out a little bit more. I could have already did this, but I forgot, and my OCD is telling me just to do it just to make sure, so I'll be right Also, I forgot to wipe off the powder, so we're just gonna be extra bright because I already set it and it already like meshed into my skin. Okay, it's cool. Made and then also I'm trying not to be hella loud because it's really early in the morning um, and I don't want to wake up people who are sleeping. <laughs> so my bad. If um, when I'm editing this I'll turn up the volume so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. Also, okay, so um, for my brows I'm using the Bedhead Hardhead Mohawk Gel um, but if you are a fan of the kind of like wispy like hairy brow um instead of going out of your way to go and buy like a brow gel um if you have a like a stronghold gel for your hair at home try this out because I mean this is kind of one of those things where I feel like you know you can do without it you don't necessarily have to go out of your way to like get like something that you could you know as an alternative, you can use something that you already have in your house. But I pretty much just kind of combed up at the first half of my brow, and then with the tail, I kind of just tried to flick it outwards. I feel like it just, with the way your hairs, or at least my hairs, like naturally grow, I feel like that kind of just gives it a more like fluffy effect when you comb the ends out. But for the most part, yeah, that's kind of what I did there. So I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna go in with a little pencil in a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna move on to. Um, Eyeshadow. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna think too into it usually. Every time I squat or like sit down and then I get up, I feel like so lightheaded. I think it's because I have like low blood pressure, and every time it starts going down, I feel like I'm just like always like trying not to faint or something. If I dwell on which palette to use, I'm really literally going to be here for like another 30 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't come out splotchy because it's pretty old. But this is um, Urban Decay Vice. Um, I picked this up because I haven't actually used it for a while. And there's a couple colors that I like in here. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not even going to be too picky about it. I'm just going to start... Um, and see what happens. This was from, I want to say, 2016 or 2017, something like that. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty old palette. But as you can see, I haven't hit pan on any of them except for this one. And then this one, I dropped, I dropped it one time, and it just like shattered. For some reason, this one's kind of calling my name. It's kind of like a really light uh, matte shade. I'm gonna go in and use this as a transition. I'm gonna use this just in the crease and bring it in kind of towards my nose. This kind of teal color right here, this like lavender shade, and then this like purple one right here. And then maybe I'll go into like a black and brown, but I'm gonna work with those. Okay, for some reason, someone's telling me to go into this teal, so. And I think I wanna focus it in this section right here in the front of my eye. I'm gonna take it and actually put a little bit on my lid as well. All right, so I'm gonna take um, this lavender shade right here. 
I'm switching brushes to a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna put that right in the middle. And then I'm kind of trying to blend it into that blue a little bit. I don't usually do this, but I think I'm gonna do the little tape trick. Just because I want the edge to be as sharp as we can get it. Usually, okay, what I'm gonna try to go off of right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to match the angle of the front half of my brow. I feel like things look like the most flattering when you do that. When it comes to like wing eyeliner, eyeshadow, maybe about right here. This feels so weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this one. This is like another shimmery purple. Not quite as dark as this one, but I'm just gonna go in with this one and then if I want after, I'll go in with that one. Actually, I think I'm gonna mix it with this blue. It's kind of like an indigo-ish kind of purple and blue. Okay, I'm sorry, I kind of just went back and forth. I'm just gonna start right here at my corner. Okay, I'm just gonna go that one. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit, but so far I'm kind of liking where I'm placing it. I tried to blend it out as much as I can without moving it too much but I think I'll leave it like that and I think I'll go in with the transition shade once we're done um, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a gradient effect but for now that's pretty good I'm going back in with that lavender shade and I'm just gonna touch that up in the middle so I'm taking another brush and I grabbed the transition shade and I'm just gonna be applying a little of that so I think I'm gonna take off the tape. I feel like I pretty much did what I needed. Mm. Oh my god, that looks so good. And it definitely did take off my foundation, so we're gonna go ahead and touch that up in a second. All right, you guys, we're back. That actually wasn't a hard situation to fix. We're actually good to go, so bunch of blessings when shit goes right. I'm just gonna do the shadow on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of, <clears throat> I don't know what the heck kind of purple that is. It's kind of like a pinky purple. And I'm taking a really small brush and I'm gonna put that on my bottom. I'm feeling really excited because this side didn't come out like so good, but in general, I really like it. It really was kind of what I was going for. So I'm just kind of going to tap this on the lash line. A little bit of the green, excuse me, like the teal. Um, I'm not going to lie, it, it does look a little patchy in person. But I think I made it work the best I could. I think I'm gonna touch it up right after this just to kind of perfect it as much as I can. But for the most part, I am not uh, how this came out. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that green because it transferred a little bit to the bottom, but I kind of like the way that looks. So I think I'll actually put some there um, once I'm done. Yeah, so this purple really ain't doing it, like I thought, like she was supposed to, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, there's kind of like a, a sparkly black, so I'm going to take a little bit of that, hopefully this does not come out patchy, but I'm going to try to focus that on the outer corner just to kind of give it some dimension, but hopefully this can kind of save this situation a little bit. Okay, I definitely did help a little bit. I think uh, this palette is like, I think it's almost it's time. Like it's really coming out really patchy. Which was only right, this palette's really old, but. At least I, I got to use it one more time. It makes me sad because a lot of the palettes I have, they're so pretty, but 
I just never used them in time for some reason. I was just not that bold when I got them to really use them to their full potential. Um, yeah, that did not work. I hate to say it, but I think after this, I'm gonna have to part with that palette. I think I might just have to throw her away because, um, yeah, it's just not that way. I'm gonna take my Morphe 39S. Oh, I'm getting better at this. I usually can never remember the names of my Morphe palettes. But, um, okay, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take that, this sparkly purple. Let me get a little bit of that one as well. And I'm just gonna try to fix this. I'm going in with this kind of pinky lavender. I can't be doing this, I can't be doing this. This palette, like, just... <laughs> it just gave me too many issues right now, I can't. So I'm gonna just kind of apply that kind of teal color, like I said, a little bit on the inside. I think I'm gonna take this gold shade, a little bit of this champagne shade from my 39S, and that's gonna go right here. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so I'm gonna take this Sephora liquid eyeliner. This is the high precision eyeliner. It's really good um, if you want like a really matte um, eyeliner. The only thing I think I don't like about this is that when my eyes water, even if my eyes aren't watering like hell crazy, it does kind of transfer like a lot. So that's one thing I don't like about it, but it's pretty affordable. It has a pretty, nice brush um but yeah just food for thought if you guys are looking for something okay i'm gonna stop there before i get carried away because it already got thicker than i wanted but it's cool at least it looks snatched on both sides Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit and then do my lips, my highlight, and then my lashes. And then that's pretty much gonna be it. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of a black liner to my waterline. Now for my brow pencil, I'm going with my Rodeo Microblade Effect pencil as I have been, I think. Um, yeah, this is my only one I have right now, so I'm pretty sure in the last few videos you guys have probably seen this. And what I like to do is just kind of, now obviously that my eyebrows are completely dry, um, when we do the little, um, you know, when we're actually applying the gel, I feel like because we kind of maneuvered my hairs to go up, it kind of just like shows you like the sparse areas a little bit easier so i pretty much just kind of take the pencil and go through those little areas where i feel like i need it i try not to get too carried away because i almost feel like the lighter you go with this the better your brows end up looking so for my lips i'm using chippy by morphe And then for lipstick, um, I'm kind of not so in the mood for a liquid lip today. Plus, I kind of want to do something um, not usual. Um, so I'm going in with my Frankie Rose Apricot Lipstick. Oh, it looks like I have some other type of color on it. Put it in the corners just a little bit. So this is MAC um, Chestnut. Yeah, I like that. And then for gloss, I'm going in with my Dominique Cosmetics. 
I'm so confused. Okay, I swear this used to say lemonade down the side, but on the bottom it says peach tea. So I don't know if they fucked up and put peach tea because I swear it's called lemonade because I even looked it up on the website because I wanted to get another one of these and it said lemonade and it looked the same. So I'm not sure, but I'm just going to apply a little to the um, top of my top lip. So I'm going to go really, really light on the lip gloss. And then I'm going to put it right on the sides of the bottom. So I'm taking a little bit of highlight from my um, Sephora palette. Uh, and I'm kind of just, I'm kind of going in with this like pinky one and then this kind of champagne gold. And then I'm just kind of dusting a little bit on the highest part of my cheek. And then to my hairline. I don't want to go in too crazy because I don't want to be like glowy glowy. And then what? I'm not even going to dip it again actually. Whatever's left, I'm going to go up my forehead a little bit. Right here. Right here. And a little on my chin. It's crazy. I feel like I've been changing so many things in my makeup routine. This one is a little bit more like classic, like Instagram y. Um, but my face actually feels really comfortable since I didn't go, like, I know I was, like, wearing a lot of product. Like I said, I was, like, touching things up, but I didn't go too crazy with it still. So my skin still feels comfortable. But, yeah, officially, this is the look, you guys. Really pretty. It's, like, a purple gradient kind of moment going into that teal. Eyelash is kind of sticking out right here. I think my favorite part about this look is my contour today. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. Don't mind my hair, I know it's looking a little crazy right now. I literally just took it out of ponytail and just kind of flipped it real quick. But um, yeah, so this is how everything turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure to give me a like on this video so that way you know if you did enjoy watching this um or if you tried it out or you know if this if you learned anything from maybe like the tips i was giving you guys throughout the video um but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far again um make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um make sure to go check out my last video i actually posted my first um workout with me video so if you're like me and you put on a couple pounds during quarantine um you know maybe you can get something out of that video to kind of get yourself started again um with kind of just getting back in shape um it's a whole video well it's not like a super long video, but um, I mostly just did workouts that you could do at home with no equipment, no nothing, um, not having to go out of your way to buy anything. Um, but yeah, that was my first time doing a video like that, so go show me some love on that one. And um, yeah, make sure to turn on your post notifications before you leave, um, so that way you guys know when my videos go up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.